Welcome to Not Bro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Hey, guys. Today, we have an awesome review of Darth Vader number 10. 10. Dying Light Part 4. And what an issue it was. Yeah, dude. It was awesome. <laughs> awesome. Let's, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. Uh, so we have the uh, awesome fight between Jocasta Nu and Vader or Anakin. No, it's Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Anakin no longer exists, but the battle... Not according to her. ...ensues, <laughs> yes. Well, this this was what was really interesting, though, is that um, as the battle you know kicks off, uh, Vader says to her, look, I don't want you to die. I, no. I swear to... I, it's like, I swear to you, you will live... I don't want to kill you, in a sense, you know. Yeah, and she's seeing right through that, right? Like uh, she knows that he wants the information that she has, mm -hmm. um, and you know what was really cool about this sequence was the whole time she is basically like putting him down, like you know, she you, is. she was like, right. you are the reason why. Um, you know, the, the fall the, of the Jedi, the fall of the right. Jedi, uh, Senator Palpatine was the Sith that we uh, couldn't find. There it, were some unsaid words in Obi-Wan Kenobi's last message out to all their survivors. Yep. Um, you know, she says his name. She says Anakin Skywalker. She, yeah, she you were Anakin. Name. You are Anakin Skywalker. You yeah. were supposed to be the one to get rid of the Sith. You know, you were the one. And now that you are falling into darkness, the emperor has now made you his pet. Yeah, you yeah, know? a pet. Like she, <laughs> she said, no more than a. Dro you're nothing more than no a. No more than a droid. Yeah, yeah. Taking when orders. she said that, my mouth dropped. I was like, what? <laughs> like, what? You're saying that to Darth Vader? Yeah. But most importantly, she says to him as they're fighting, "Is um, you think that you're killing the Jedi? The Jedi will rise. Yes. Um, the Jedi isn't something that you can destroy. It's I'm eternal. saying this in layman's terms, right? right? She's saying uh, it's it's eternal. It's eternal. You can never get rid of it. It will rise again right over time it will rise again yep it will rise and as she's and, and she says there are entities out there yes you know this she said that to him mm -hmm. you know this yeah <laughs> <laughs> so as she's about to fire this gun again it goes click and she's out of Oopsie. out of juice and what's interesting is that she pulls one of the pieces out and it was like melting it was like falling apart it was it, it was looked just like done a, it looked like a um, i thought it was a lightsaber at that's first, what I thought, but yeah. it's like no it's part of her gun which is weird yeah uh, but then we keep hearing this beeping this beeping and vader is just like you know i promise you you will not be harmed and he actually turns his lightsaber off um when she still does not have his iconic hilt well, yet yeah. which is still bugging me it's still from kirik Infla. oh get over it i want his hilt <laughs> <laughs> anyway he does say i look i i told you i promised you know, I wouldn't hurt you, and mm -hmm. and you know that's when she force uses the force and throws the gun, which the beeping is like a, a self destruct mechanism. She set the gun to explode. Yeah, <laughs> and that literally blows Vader back, yeah. blows a hole in the building, in which we get a scene of uh, stormtroopers saying, "What the." Hell? <laughs> yeah, the troopers are outside like, well, what the heck is that? Um, Jocasta goes and grabs another lightsaber off another shelf somewhere. Yeah. Um, and shelf. She, shelf, whatever. It's like a fire extinguisher. Yeah. <laughs> one thing and grab another one. So as the, a whole, the huge gaping hole from the explosion, the troopers see her and they're like, that's a Jedi. Start firing at her. So all these blasters are going at her and she's actually... A huge battle ensues. Huge battle. She yeah. jumps down. She's like... Hi, boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, it's a Jedi. Kill her, kill her. And they do call for backup. And one yeah. of the lieutenants is like, okay, hold on. We'll be right there. Um, so and, uh, yeah. They're slowly taking her down. Like They, they are. They, they, they're, you can only... Yeah, you can only... Get rid of... so much. Like, exactly. Beep, 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 <laughs> But, uh, so anyway, they, they actually overcome her... Uh, but in the meantime, they also see another figure pop out of the explosion, the hole in the side of the building. They see the lightsaber, mm -hmm. and they immediately think this is another Jedi. So they start firing on Darth Vader. They start firing on Vader. <laughs> and Vader's fine with it. He's like, ah, whatever. And um, he's, you know, blocking the the shots and everything. And then as the, the, the ship cruiser comes on, the lieutenant. The, the commander. The yeah, commander. Lieutenant. He's like, lieutenant. what's going on? And he's, he's, he's looking through his scope. He sees Jocasta New. And then um, he's looking at the other uh the other person he's like oh no everyone cease fire cease fire he's one of us <laughs> so 
uh, you know, obviously Vader jumps onto the ship and says, why didn't you tell them my description? Mm -hmm. um, and he says, I, I didn't know that this was going to happen. And right away he uses, now I'm going to do the, the, the force and, do and you do the sound. Okay. He, he literally just goes. <laughs> breaks his neck. Breaks his neck. He chokes him, kills him. <laughs> He's like, I'm done with you. Because you never fail Vader. If you fail Vader, you will die and he will point someone else, the yeah. commander. <laughs> yeah. Um, so... Jocasta New gets o gets overtaken, um, and I I knew this was going to happen. Like right. you don't, um, she's obviously got her back turned to um, a cliff, right. you know, a drop off. They tell them to cease fire, yeah. stop firing on her, and they do. When immediately I see the drop off, yeah. I say, "Yeah, she's going to commit suicide." Yeah. So um, she says the awesome line, the awesome of, line from Rogue uh, One of, of uh, the forces is, is with me. Right, I'm one with I'm the force. I'm one with the force. The force is with, the force me, is yeah. with me, and <laughs> propels herself off the right. off the cliff. And as she's falling, you know, she has her eyes closed. She's ready to die. And then the last part of the panel, you see her eyes open, and she says no. And now, you want to know why? When I saw that, though, I'm like, why is she saying no? Did she regret throwing herself off the? No. No. Vader. Used the force <laughs> and stopped her momentum, caught her basically. She's just lying there, just dead in the air. And uh, he tells his guys, let's go pick her up, please. And bring her aboard. <laughs> <laughs> so they bring her aboard the ship. And, um, you know, she, we, we yeah. did forget to mention that Vader did actually, before this uh, series of events, he did get the, the um, memory. Or is that right here? It's it's right now. Okay, yeah. So you. as they bring her aboard the ship, they're like, we searched we searched the Jedi. All we found right. was this, and it's the memory crystal. And what's or awesome? What we like to call it a what? thumb drive. Thumb drive. But what's so awesome is that he puts it in his belt. He puts it in his belt, which then displays everything on you know through his uh, through his helmet on his eyes. Yeah, you can see and, the uh, data. You can see the going. data. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Was, I thought that was amazing. Yeah. I freaked out when I saw that. <laughs> I was like, now I know what his belt's used for. No. <laughs> so I was like, oh. It's for thumb drives. <laughs> <laughs> so with this is where we get the interaction with Vader. He's like, this this information, uh, this information holds names, birth dates, locations. I'm like, you're looking for other Force-sensitive users. These are children. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Th th that's the key there is he said these are children. Yeah. Like, like he knows that this is... Force sensitive children, right? Um, that that obviously have the Jedi Force or the Jedi, uh, what do you call it? They're force sensitive yeah. to the Force. Yeah. yeah. So he says to Jokasi, he's like, "The this is these are the targets that the Jedi are looking for. Um, are you looking to build your build a new army, build a new Jedi Order?" And this is kind of again where she goes in and says, "You know, we we will not, in a sense, we will not be stopped. The Jedi will." Uh, continue on and this is where she kind of also says this is why your emperor sent He's, actually she says you don't even know why you're here you know you don't know because your emperor sent yes. you in here but yeah. you don't know the information it, she also uses the term boy yeah she references Darth Vader to boy yes. uh, you do not know why you're here boy um, mm -hmm. and I think she says something like along the lines of uh, uh, what uh, the emperor uh wants to use you to turn these children into you demon seeds basically of you, you. yeah 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 and she says palpatine knew we had this information because he was a senator so he knew that we had it and we knew that the seekers um had it in kept in a safe place so he sent you here to grab this but you truly don't know why you're doing this, you know. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I love. Now the next scene was probably my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you go into detail. Well, so uh, one of the, as she's discussing this with Vader, one of the troopers is like, "You want me to like, you know, shoot her now to shut her up <laughs> and uh, get rid of this Jedi filth?" And Jocasta's like, she kind of says to him, "Boy, you don't know what side you're trying to yeah, hate." Yeah, she says, "You don't even yeah, exactly. You don't even know what side you're trying to hate." Yeah, and then she goes in to tell these troopers that this person standing next to you, Darth Vader, uh, is a Jedi Knight. Mm -hmm. This is Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> and all you see in the panel is a trooper kind of turn looking at Vader and the next panel you see all of the troopers including the pilot force pushed out of the <laughs> ship he killed them all yeah. because of what she said he even says that he says you were the one who did this this was your doing <laughs> you made me kill them all and uh, 
So she asked, you know, what what is going to become of me? And, and the, what's cool, the panel is that you see it, you know, her normal kind of uh, normal kind of light, and then you see you hear yeah, the lighting in the room. The was, lighting was, is, you know, standard lighting, right? Not for long. Yeah. She says, "What becomes of me?" And then you see her bright red, and she's like, "So be it." Yep. And we don't. And then he kills her. Yeah. But we find out that he kills her because because he you know, he threw out all the troopers, including the pilot. The ship crashed. Yeah, and... so he does contact uh, uh, um, Lord Sidious mm-hmm. and, and proceeds to tell him that uh, Jocasta knew uh, kind of escaped. Tried to escape. Tried to escape. Um, the fo- the plan was foiled. He unfortunately killed her. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, this is where, um, uh, wow, why am I, I just, Lord Sidious, sorry, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, asked him, did you get, anything from her Mm -hmm. Uh, and this is where darth vader says no i did not nothing and nothing and you see him holding the memory crystal that he took from jocasta and he crushes it and he says nothing so keep in mind he's already gotten that data he's got the data but he's lied to his master yeah and that's what's interesting is you have to really he has got to really be strong to hide that from him yeah, so because lord sidious is going to find that out through you know force right Um, somehow but yeah. and, and no, I mean, not you know, we gotta assume Darth Vader is strong enough to, like you said, hide that from him. Right. So what is he gonna do with that information? And since he knows all the locations, he could just go kill all the Force sensitive children, or ah, we'll just have to wait and see what he might happen with that. Yeah. Um, I really love the ending of this issue. I really love the issue altogether, simply yeah. because the beginning of the issue ties into the end, where it does in before Jocasta knew was saying, look. Uh, you think that the Jedi is just some uh, physical existence. You think that it ends, that you right. can end it. Um, and we we end the comic with a narrative of basically coming from her, mm-hmm. uh, saying that um, the Force is eternal. Uh, it cannot be ended, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, and uh, it will find its vessel, basically. Yeah, it will yeah. find its vessel. It's always there. It's always there. Uh, over time, it will come back. And here's this narrative telling this, and we see this gentleman inside this cave, and we got to assume it's where Jocasta knew. Similar to where Jocasta was, like, because I think a, the a, other. A, a proposed school for Jedi children. Yes, because who knows how many there are spread out and how many mm-hmm. other. Because they look like they're holding, you know, there's. Uh, Files of data. Because there is a panel everything. in there that shows a different world. Too, yeah, so. with a moon yeah. and um, similar to where she came from, where it showed like piles of data. She's getting yeah. all this data, but and he's just standing there. He, you know, goes to his day eating, checking stuff out, and um, then, as this narrative is going on, right? right? Yeah, yeah, as the narrative's going on, and then we see him standing in front of like kind of like a, a waterfall type thing, and he holds up, looks like a memory chip, but he holds up something and he presses a button, and boom, he like he kills himself. Which then, you know, all the rocks come falling down. You don't see the waterfall anymore. It basically um, blocks the entrance blocks to the, the cave. Entrance, yeah. Um, now, as this is explaining, um, there are others waiting in the galaxy. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, when the time is right, the Jedi will rise again. And as, you know, as that saying that I just said uh, progresses through the panels, you know, the panels are getting older with, with cobwebs, cobwebs and you know? everything. Yeah. So we got to assume that time has progressed through this. Mm-hmm. And then we see a figure opening a, a, a male. Oh, I believe it's a male. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uncovering rocks and we see his face. We see his face and that's the last word where it says the Jedi will rise again. So my thought was maybe, um, you know, I'm not sure why this gentleman killed himself. Maybe he just thought the end was near. He let's kill myself, and I'm thinking maybe this new gentleman is after so long. It someone doesn't look come... like Luke though. Well, like, like you said, Luke's a baby, but he is a cobwebs. Baby. It's been time. Right. Well, who knows? But yeah, no. Where where this arc is, where this comic is, Darth Vader just became Vader. So Luke and Leia are to me are still babies, infants. That's not Luke Skywalker. If I see unless, cobwebs now, unless I gotta assume time has. Now, unless they're showing some kind of futuristic panel where that could be Luke, you know, kind of showing a little jumping into the future, but then we get back to normal, that's fine. If it's Luke. Yeah, but I think that would... You owe me a serious apology. Well, if (laughs) if this is Luke and if it's more of like a futuristic panel... Yes, I can understand that, but I'm thinking this is maybe a gentleman who is coming in to... You know, relieve that person who knows but yeah. if it is luke that would actually make a lot of sense because they're tying it into who anakin skywalker was who uh what the the information that he got from jocasa about children luke skywalker 
and Leia could have been on that list mm -hmm. that he you know doesn't know about at the moment, or they could have actually no, I don't think they would have. They would have kept it hidden. They would have kept those. They would have kept it hidden. Yeah. But if this, like I said, another futuristic panel, if that is Luke, interesting end. But I don't think we'll see anything more than that in the yeah. next issue. But yeah, maybe they'll just end it there. They if, might, if it is Luke, right? Yeah, end it there and leave that up to our imagination and right. start a different arc, right? Yeah, yeah. So very interesting, guys. <laughs> I loved issue ten. It was awesome. Well put together. Well written. Art was amazing. Loved it all together. Very great. Yeah, let us know what you think of uh, Darth Vader series right now. We're absolutely loving it. I actually love it because I love Star Wars and Vader. But uh, this this new storyline from uh, Charles Soule is absolutely amazing. Yeah, absolutely love it. So, yep. all right, guys, we're done. Darth Vader ended it for all of us. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later. We're Doc Nation. We're, we're out. out.